Hello, welcome, welcome. Look at this weird location me and Sam are in. You guys are probably like, what is going on? Did Sam and Kim swap? It's an alternate universe. <laughs> Sam's been visiting us here in Pennsylvania for the week. So Sam is in my studio looking awesome. I think you belong in this studio and need to be streaming from here more. I agree. And I <laughs> now it makes me want to record some videos after this, but I also don't have time to do that. We have no time for that. But anyway, thank you all for showing up for Coding with Sam. Uh, Coding with Sam is a series we started and it's getting great uh, likes, get great subscribes for our channel because we know you guys are building your membership sites yourself and maybe don't come from a coding background, but the flexibility of Paid Memberships Pro uh, is pretty awesome when you can get your hands in a little bit of code. So uh, we have someone, Sam, who is newer to code, becoming more proficient for sure. Uh, to lead us through these examples so that you can become more comfortable customizing your membership sites. Yeah, pretty soon I think we're going to have to get Christy to uh, get over the imposter syndrome and get on here because yeah. I'm going to eventually know too much to be yeah. a beginner coder. That's um, right. That's I'm, right. Last coding with Sam, we creeped into some CSS. So we could also just give you no code recipe and only give you AI and a directive and then you're actually starting from scratch i don't know all our cool know. ideas we could try yeah. that would that would definitely create more code recipe content for us because it would be things that people ask for that's right so that's right so anyway uh do you want to share what you're going to be coding today sam yeah if you want to go ahead and pull up my screen got you we're going to be adding a member directory search anywhere in the membership site so if you have the um directory add-on already and you have a membership directory on your paymentships pro account there is is this native kim where it will always show on the directory page which one is native let me see yeah so that, that's built in it's an attribute of the directory short code or block whether you want the search form present as part of your directory so then today what we're going to do is we're going to test because the directory add-on just got an update. So we're going to test if we even need this short code or we, we have the short code that's in the directory. But if we even need this code recipe to place it anywhere on our site. Yes. That's yeah. Today. The new version of member directory is including a uh, member directory search short code separately. So this post was originally written to be a standalone um drop in code so i don't do you want to demo what's in the recipe first and then i'll send you the link to the new version or do you yeah. want to go with just the new version no let's let's see if this post still works okay with this code recipe Done. so um oh you, christy's saying my screen isn't sharing on coding with sam oh i see it I see it too. Hmm. Let me try to remove it and put it back. You guys see Sam's screen? Oh, now we don't see Kim. What? There. Oh, can't Kim see it. Kim says you can't see it either. Oh no, what should we do? Oh, you know what? So StreamYard hmm. is doing this. Oh, like, now it's showing. There's a now beta it's showing. Thing. Oh, I think you're good. Okay. Don't touch so. it. <laughs> Now we see it. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so StreamYard feedback, uh, your scene, your beta scenes thing needs some work. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new feature that they popped up this morning with, and I was like, "What is this? What is this? Oh no, you broke my life." <laughs> beta, it needs some work. Okay. So, in case you missed it, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be adding the cert, the directory search. Mm -hmm. anywhere on our site mm -hmm. that's what we're doing so that's we cool. have the code recipe in the blog post but we also think we can do this with just the short code and not yeah. the snippet but we're going to use the snippet first yes we're testing everything today 
So we'll add a new snippet. We're using the Code Snippets plugin by Code Snippets Pro. If you're not familiar with it, go check out the very first Coding with Sam episode back in like October. There's a whole playlist for you. Um, add directory, search anywhere. And I let's look. I don't think we have to actually change anything. Oh, modify line 15 of the recipe with the full URL of the page that holds your member directory. Okay. So we will open the member directory in a new page. This is the full URL. And so line 15 is not existent. How about line 19 is right here where we're going <laughs> to... We're going to... blurry. Open. Interesting. We've never gotten that feedback. Tony, we're We've sorry. Never gotten this feedback. And I'm not doing anything hmm. different with my yeah. setup. Like I'm on my laptop like I usually am. Um, I'm sorry this coding with Sam is not up to our usual standard. Okay, so that should be the only thing that we have to change. I'll just double check the post. And then to use the short code, add the following contents to a widget or block. Oh, I don't think this recipe is actually going to do anything. I think I, you just have to, you have to use that in your content then. So we'll find a place that you want to put that. Save changes. Okay, so maybe we'll go to a post, a members only post with nothing on it. <laughs> And just so we don't mess it up, copy and paste it. We need the brackets though, don't we? Mm -hmm. Brackets. Okay. So let's save this and view the post. Search members. Now, the formatting is a little odd. Yeah. Because the box is so small, but the button is so big. But it did work. Try searching and see where what it does. I'm trying to remember somebody in the directory. Dolores. Oh yeah, Dolores. There she is. <laughs> so it does. And it did bring us to the member directory page. So it redirected yeah. us when we searched to the member directory page. So that did work. Now, does it still work if I turn this snippet off? So the directory's short code name changed. I did send you a private chat link to the documentation. You wrote it that fast? We'll pull it up into a screen people can see. Cool. Okay, so add the directory search. Okay, PM Pro member directory search short code. So this is native to the new version of member directory. If you're on an older version, you'll have to update. The goal of this short code was so that sites that were building their directory and they wanted to um, lay it out maybe in a unique way, put the search kind of separate in a sidebar, let's say, from the directory itself. So this should replicate the yeah, and it looks nicer, and it right? looks much nicer than the code recipe. The code recipe yeah. needs some CSS or something to um, help styles, but we actually don't even need the code recipe anymore. Yeah, we just eliminated a, a post on our site. No. We, sometimes we take those posts and we'll repurpose them to be document expanded documentation on the use of a built-in feature in the add-on. So for this case, you know, this would be something I would suggest to throw in a sidebar. If you had like a really customized membership account page, you could use the native search short code to um, give people some you know quick jumping off points to things. If directory is a big feature of your membership, if the account page had a section like uh, manager entry in our directory and it had a link for them to edit their profile, it had a link for them to view their member directory page, and then you also said or you know find members, and you could put that search on the membership account page, for example. And then they would be able to access the directory, you know, in their own on their own terms. So cool. I'm glad that it does work anywhere. It should. Actually, let's test it. Can we find Dolores again? It works that we can see it, but does it work that we can use it? We found there. Dolores and we're back on the member directory. Her. Yeah. Cool. And that doesn't have any August customization. Is another either. one too. Yeah. Oh, we have all that. these fake people that are actually real people to me. They live somewhere in an alternate timeline. Yeah. There's August. Oh, and the pre and pro team showed up. I wonder if we have August's like name or username in. We must, yeah. To view the profile and see. 
I don't know. Don't know. Interesting why that one showed up last week in August. Yeah. But it was the the snippet. It it means we didn't break anything with the update to member directory for people that were already using that code snippet. Yeah, that's good. And you can also um, uh, nest the short code for for both uh, either the code recipe or the um, other short code that we brought up in uh, the new documentation. You can uh, restrict that to only members. So. If you place it somewhere where other people have access to it, I haven't been doing. Yeah, my and I was job hoping that short code wasn't going to work. We go. Oh, you were? <laughs> yeah, it did. It did. Hmm, cool. Well, what is next? When are we back in the in the studios? We'll be. In, I'll be in where Sam is. When that are we is back streaming? We are back. Oh, no, we were supposed to prep this while I was here. Um, we're going to be talking <laughs> next Thursday, um, or I'm going to be talking next Thursday, about how to boost your revenue with membership upsells. I'm going to attempt, with the time that we have, to demo nine different ways that you can upsell either brand new members or existing members. Um, those are like the honey pot of. <laughs> of boosting your revenue rather than having to consistently try to market to find new people, target the people who are already paying you. Um, So we're going to be doing that on March 13th. The next coding with Sam is March 21st. Thank you, Christy, for updating this page already. It's beautiful. Wow. Um, And If you are not in the Slack community, but you want to join the Slack community because you actually get face-to-face time with Kim and I, as well as other people who are working on Painters Pro projects, uh, we do have a couple community meetups coming up on the 11th and the 25th. Those are Google Meets, so you actually get to talk to us, and we can hear your voice and see your face. And it's very not scary. I think some people on this in chat have attended. It's very not scary and it's very low attended. So it, it's very personal. Uh, you know, come as you are, pop in, leave, come late, whatever you have to do, video on, video off. You can observe or you can participate. Very low, low scary, I think. Yes. Yes. They're fun too. And um, yeah. as much as we talk about Paperships Pro, we also get to know you. Uh, we get to know what you're building. I think I have probably at least two handfuls of people in the community so far that I can tell you their name and their site and everything that's about. So um, I love to to grow that list in my brain. Excellent. Thank you all for watching today. Uh, Give this video a like if it was helpful to see these features demoed. There's an entire uh, playlist of Coding with Sam replays that you can access. The first video of it is getting comfortable um, where you're copying and pasting code and how you're managing that. And then every Coding with Sam that we've done is in that playlist. So if you can go back and you know start at the beginning. I, I think the beginning ones were even uh, more introductory than we've mm-hmm. gotten lately. So give them all a check yeah, and we appreciate it. Yeah, we'll see you guys back here. Uh, when, the 22nd you said? Is it two weeks from the now? The 13th. Well, oh, next week. 20, well, Coding with Sam is the 21st, but okay. the next live stream will be the 13th. Awesome, all right. See you guys next week. Bye.